police shooting in Illinois, the number of officers killed by gunfire just this year rose to 24. And while the nature of these crimes against police seems horrifying, the country's response to it really has been fairly muted. Our core Harlan is looking into this question of who protests core when a cop is killed. It's a sensitive question for a lot of folks here. Talk with Portland police officer Pete Simpson late this afternoon and he tells me the anger and the hatred of police he feels is as bad as he's experienced in decades. Gunmen shot and killed three more police officers across the country in the last seven days. We wanted to find out where the outrage is and why isn't there more of a public uproar when a cop is killed. August the 26th, Sunset, Louisiana, police officer Henry Nelson shot and killed while trying to help a woman stabbed during a domestic disturbance. Last Friday, Deputy Sheriff Darren Goforth of the Harris County Sheriff's Office in Texas was filling his patrol car with gasoline when someone walked up to him and opened fire and then stood over him and shot him several more times. And yesterday, Fox Lake, Illinois, Police Lieutenant Charles Glinowitz shot to death during a foot pursuit. It's disturbing. I mean, it's, it's obviously it's sad. Dominic Jacobellis is a retired Portland police officer who hung up his uniform after 28 years. He's now the mayor of Gladstone. He thinks the more police reach out and build relationships in a community, the less they're viewed as the bad guy. I mean, they take on the job, I mean, because they care and they want to make a difference and they're trying to help people and they put themselves out there every day and then the the rate at which this is increasing is just disturbing across all across the board. I think one of the things that's happening is there is a social movement that has emerged after Ferguson that has give people, especially people of color, permission to express their frustration. With U of O criminologist Randy Blazak says the trust of police is diminished in some communities. That, he says, may contribute to some people's hostility toward police. Social media is the modern-day bullhorn that people use to show their frustrations with police, but Blazak does see some light at the end of this dark tunnel. And we have com communities that were are built around police and, and residents working together where police are outside of their police cars and they get to know their neighbors and they look like their neighbors. In those communities, there's much less negative interaction between police. Well, a lot of this boils down to what we used to call and still do community policing, building mm -hmm. relationships between police and communities. And uh, all of the rest of that stuff really helps uh, get people in better touch with but each where, other. But where are they cutting money? Well, the budgets, uh, police department, that's what community policing comes out of. And yeah, those budgets. So that it eliminates yeah, some of that. Right, yeah. right. As soon as the problem is gone, they reduce the budget, and the problem goes back, grows back again. It's a fascinating story, Core, and yeah. one we're still continuing to A lot to talk of elements about. to look into yeah. here, a lot of things behind this. Thanks. Across America now, 